Hi, my name is Lisa Peters and I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker Real Estate. Today I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about security deposits. So let's say you're an owner and you're renting out your property and you found a tenant that you're going to rent to. Most likely you're going to collect a security deposit. So a couple things you have to think about. How much security deposit are you going to, or I should say, are you allowed to collect? What do you have to do with that security deposit once it's in your possession? What happens if there's any interest income on the security deposit? What do you have to do with the security deposit if your tenant rents for one, two, three, five, ten years? And what happens when it comes time to decide what happens with the security deposit at the end of the lease? If you're not 100% sure of the answer to any of these questions, you might want to work with a professional. There's a lot of laws that go along with security deposits, and owners can get themselves into trouble and actually end up owing the tenants money. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. I'll be happy to talk with you.